During these days, religion and faith seems to be declining. There are more and more people, especially in the Western countries, who are choosing to not affiliate themselves with any religion. They either believe in God but do not want to associate themselves with any faith group or they simply do not believe in any higher power. Now naturally, just like other people, we also see this trend among Muslims. I've seen many Muslims online who for one reason or another have left their faith Islam. And of course, all of them have their own logic or reasoning for their decision. Now, broadly speaking, there are two main views or opinions as to how Muslims should deal with such people. Should they be punished for leaving Islam? Or should every person be left alone to do whatever he or she chooses to do? Unfortunately, some Muslim countries penalize apostasy by death and other harsh punishments. The way Ahmadi Muslims understand apostasy is that the religion of Islam is very clear on this issue. The Holy Quran repeatedly says that the matter of such people should be left to God. If they deserve to be punished, it is for God to punish them or forgive them according to their intentions and motives. We human beings do not have the capacity to judge what is in the hearts of other, other people. The Holy Quran says that there is no compulsion in the matters of religion. The Holy Quran says that Islam is the true religion, then whoever wishes to believe, let him believe, and whoever wishes to disbelieve, let him disbelieve. The reality is that there is no notion in the Holy Quran of forcing people back into Islam or punishing people for having left Islam in the first place. Muslim scholars who support death penalty for apostasy or other punishments such as giving three days to repent base their ideas or understanding on false interpretation and understanding of a few ahadith such as there's a saying attributed to the Holy Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that man baddala dinahu faqtuluhu that whoever changes his faith kill him. Now we should understand that hadith is a secondary source of Islamic law. We cannot apply it in a way that completely contradicts the Holy Quran, which as we know is our fundamental source of law. So while it is natural to feel pain or be disappointed if a family member or a friend or anyone else was to leave Islam, it does not justify persecuting them in any way. We should remember that addressing the Prophet, God says in the Holy Quran that if God had wanted, everyone would have believed. Will you then, O Muhammad, force people to become believers? In another verse, God says that, O Muhammad, your task is to admonish people, advise them. You haven't been made a warden or custodian over them. So Muslims who support any kind of punishment for apostasy should learn from these verses of the Holy Quran. And they should not base their beliefs on texts and opinions that are in absolute contradiction with the Holy Quran.